were concerns that protests could spill over and put a damper on the start of this weekend's music fest at Paul Brown Stadium. Some people had called for a boycott of that event. Local 12's Brad Underwood is at the stadium now with how it's going so far, Brad. Well, good evening, Robin. I'll tell you what, maybe up to this point, the only protest may be for a longer show. Everyone having a great time here tonight. But, you know, in all seriousness, we have not seen any negative uh, actions or anything happening like a, a boycott of the event ahead of uh, this weekend's music festival. Everyone having a great time. You know, this is an event that thousands of people plan months ahead of. We've got tour buses from across the country. And as we know here in Cincinnati, this event is one of the largest of its kind. Cincinnati. All right. Buffalo Travelers. <laughs> the gates at Paul Brown Stadium open promptly at 6.30. The first fans in line, the ladies of the Buffalo Travelers. I love coming here. I come here every other year with Buffalo Travelers. Right. <laughs> Two charter buses of the Travelers bring the music lovers to the Queen City each year for the weekend. This year, they're everywhere around the stadium waiting for the show to start. It's a beautiful lineup. I love Kim. Well, really, all the entertainers. Kim, We're here Jennifer for two nights, Hudson, both nights. Frankie yes. Right. Joe. Here it is. Look at the back oh. of my shirt. <laughs> As Luke James warms up the crowd inside, outside fans get some local music flavor. This is the best day of my life. That's how I look at this opportunity when I come back home for Cincinnati Jazz Festival. And for people that don't talk, take advantage of it, they don't know what they're missing, man. The name has changed a few times, as have the sponsors, but the greatness, the hype, the music remains and continues to draw a major crowd each year. The music has morphed. You know, it used to be straight 100% jazz, and then it went to kind of a mix, and now it's, you know, more, mostly R&B, and that's what the people want, and, you know, it, uh, it's, it's, it's up to us to put the bodies in the seats, so to speak, and so we have to bring the people, that the artists that the people want to see. And once again, doing a fantastic job. All the bodies inside Paul Brown Stadium and outside. Jennifer Hudson finishing up her set. You already had the OJs and Joe and after Jennifer Hudson, tonight's headliner, Maxwell. And out here uh, on Freedom Way, all the vendors are still open. Each tent has music playing. I mean, everyone having just a, a fantastic time. You really couldn't have asked for better weather conditions. You've got a nice little breeze. I'll tell you what, this party doesn't look like it's going to be stopping anytime soon, Robert Camby. Brad, have you noticed that uh, when you're talking to people, those of us who have known this festival for a long time, they still call it the Jazz Festival? Yeah, we had people today call it the Jazz Festival, Macy's Fest. There are people wearing T-shirts with this year's uh, year, 2015, but even said Jazz Fest or Macy's Music Fest and Cincinnati Music Fest. So they know the event, how great it is, and it doesn't matter what the name is, they're going to come back. Yeah, it's a great festival. Thanks very much. The music continues tomorrow. Gates open at 630 and the music begins an hour later. You can find ticket information at local12.com.